it is 1 p.m. I've been busy this morning on uh, on the computer. Had to do some things, some work things. And I took a shower this morning and I just put my hair up in this bun, but it kind of looks like I have no hair. Anyway, you guys don't care. I know you don't care. Um, I <laughs> had some emails to take care of and all kind of businessy type things this morning. So that's what I've been doing all morning. We made some homemade oatmeal this morning and I'm looking at some ingredients right now. I think I'm going to make some bone broth because I have all this frozen, let me just show you. I have all this frozen um, stuff that I need to use. So we have our chicken bones, more chicken bones. Um, I'm thawing more ground beef because I'm gonna use what I thawed yesterday and I'm gonna use this one today as well. Um, this is actually more bones and veggies and then I have more veggies and then I have frozen veggies in the freezer outside too. We'll add some seasonings to this and uh, I think it's going to be a really yummy healthy bone broth. So I think I'm going to put that, I'm trying to decide, I'll probably use my large stock pot for the bone broth today and try to do a nice big batch because I do have quite a bit of um, carcass that will provide a lot of, um, of good broth. So probably need to add some more onion, some more, you know, carrot, celery type thing. And that is all outside in the garage freezer. And then I've also been looking through um, the $5 dinner mom, and I'm thinking about doing some meals out of this cookbook because these are super duper frugal and maybe doing a compilation of budget friendly meals for you guys. Um, what's so great about this cookbook is that it literally breaks down the cost or average cost of the ingredients and then everything should come around five dollars so it's really really good and handy to have something like this that you can kind of pull from if you're on a strict strict budget as a lot of us are right now so i'm going through this i'm going to come up with some meals i think to make from this cookbook and then i'll be sure to record those for you guys and do a little compilation budget friendly meals but First things first, I think I'm gonna get this bone broth going and I will take you guys step by step as I make some yummy bone broth. recipe um, but it has potatoes and basically you just use the California uh, veggie blend and you mix those together and then you make like a, so a ranchy mayonnaise kind of sauce I cannot find the recipe to save my life I have looked and looked and looked the channel I found my video, but the channel that I linked with the recipe is no longer there. So, I'm just gonna have to wing it. If you guys have that recipe, send it to me, but if 
what I remember is there's ranch dressing, mayonnaise, and then I'm trying to remember if there was some other kind of ingredient or spice. So I thought about maybe even sprinkling some Italian dressing, 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 seasoning. I don't know what I'm going to do, but, um, I might just come up with my own. And then I think you sprinkle it with cheese and maybe like some bacon bits and you bake it in the oven. That's what I think. I don't know what it is. I know it's mayonnaise and ranch, but anyway, we're going to wing it. So here's what I've got. I've got it never worked. I've got this giant pan um, that I'm going to do the veggies and the potatoes and then we're going to just mix it all and kind of pour it out on here, cover it with cheese and bake it. I've got my bone broth going in here and we're going to cook that. I've got it on high. I'm going to bring it to a really good bo uh, boil and then I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for a long, 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 long time. And then this guy is going to help. Like this this guy. I got right here. He has a lot of fish sticks on his plate. This guy is going to go help Jimmy for a few minutes um, at work. Yeah. So, all right. Let me get this in the oven. Why are you laughing? <laughs> called and he needs me to bring Jake and meet him somewhere. So I'm going to put everything on pause. So I'm going to turn the oven off and cover up my food <laughs> and then we will reconvene when we get back home. All right, we just met dad, dropped Jake off and we ran through the cookout drive through We've got some burgers, some milkshakes, some caramel. Yep, caramel milkshake. Oops. We have some fries. So, I feel like a normal person, y'all. We're out and about. <laughs> Not really, though. It's so weird being quarantined. This is so weird. It feels very strange. You haven't had all this so long. So I feel like I'm doing a lot more cooking at home, which is a good thing. So, to have a little bit of takeout is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Um, I feel I like there was something that I needed to buy from the grocery store, but I cannot remember what it is. So I might have to stop and think. Anyway, we'll see you guys when we get home. All right, guys, we are back home and I am putting the broth on uh, to cook in the pot. And I am also getting the um, potato and veggies in the oven so i'm gonna show you guys kind of what i did with that if i can get my hair Ooh, bad hair day guys i really want to show you something this is the quarantine hair y'all this is the quarantine Hi. hair Hi. Guys, I want to show you something. I so i have these on their top <laughs> and then so i want to show you um something it's called a uh, the bunny hop so you put your feet like this into like a um, cute V, and then you put your hands like this, and then like you jump and look at my feet. You ready? Mm-hmm. There. Me. <laughs> All right. So here is the potato veggie bake. Yes, yeah, babe, please. Um, it. I ended up doing some mayonnaise, some ranch, some milk, and Italian dressing. Uh, Italian dressing seasoning with some salt and pepper and so that's what i mixed in and then i just put a little cheese mixture on top it's way past nap time way 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 past nap time so i'm gonna He's go put driving him me insane yeah we're gonna go put that baby down for sure and guys no i am not in tap dance or ballet i'm planning to um get in ballet and karate because i love karate <laughs> 
She loves karate. I did, uh, Maddie, will you put this in the fridge for me? I stopped by the grocery store. I left the kids in the car to get some coffee creamer. I got whipped buttercream. Here, put that in the fridge. Oh, yes. I got some bay leaves because I wanted to pop a few bay leaves in this pot. So, let's do that. Watch out. Can you use them in like stews and stuff for a little flavor. Let's do. Three. But they're leaves. How can you eat them? You don't. You take them out before you eat. Will you pick that up throw it away for me, please, honey? All right. Now that it's going pretty good, let me turn it down. Is this a real leaf? Or? Mm hmm. It is. Did it, did it come from trees or is it like kind of like. Honey, I don't even know. That's a good thing to look up, maybe. I know. Oh, these are flies peaches. Mom, hmm. I want to make a channel. Yes. I want to um have a channel like that. Yeah. What? Were your shoes on? No. I'll do the other shoes. Don't worry. Good morning. Say good morning. Hi. <laughs> what are you eating? Meal. <laughs> so you guys, he calls yogurt meal. Are you eating meal? Oh, yum. He's having some vanilla meal. Is it very yummy? You don't know? And I am over here getting ready to make some muffins. Drinking some coffee. Having a little bit of a late night. Late morning. Not what I meant to say. Um, so we're going to make some pumpkin muffins. Let me throw this trash away. Um... And I am using this cookbook, and we're going to do these pumpkin nut muffins. And hopefully they turn out very delicious. So let's see. I have applesauce, two eggs. I have pumpkin pie mix. That's all I have. I don't have pure pumpkin, so I'll just omit, omit some of the spices. Um, I have my baking powder, my whole wheat flour, walnuts. Um, it calls for some, uh, there's red flour, bread flour. Um, it calls for all purpose, but I think I'll just use bread flour. That's what I have. Sugar. Um, let's see what else. We have our walnuts and I think, oh, I need some oil and I think that's it. It calls for ground ginger and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So I'm going to see how how spiced this is. We may not need any of that. So I'm going to get busy making some muffins.
is it? What's in there? Baby. A baby? Yeah. Oh yes, there's a baby growing. Uh, uh, I need yeah. What are we making? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, what's in here? Salmon, what's in here? What is that? Muffins? Yeah. Let's see them. Oh, yep, there they are. Hopefully they turn out. No. All right, so breakfast is done and we're getting ready to go start homeschool. Um, I was gonna show you our new bookshelves. I got some new bookshelves that were given to us. I showed them on Instagram, but I'm loving them, so I'm gonna show them to you guys. And also show you our map that I just hung up. So here is the bookshelf. This actually came out of a house my husband is working on and they had him remove them. It came out of a very, very, very old house, like a hundred year old. House. And um, so then we hung, we were able to hang our map right beside it. And I think that's going to be a nice place for our history, geography lessons. The kids can see it well. But I am ecstatic to have a place to put all of our books, our books and our movies. So... It actually worked out pretty well in here. Oh, the dog. All right, so, Maddie, will you please go talk to him, please? No, can you go talk to him, please? So, um, I'm getting ready to probably clear the majority of this shelf out and put our um, magazine file holders or whatever they're called with our some of our homeschooling stuff in here. That way it's easily accessible for the kids and it's hidden in the little white boxes. And look, we still have some availability, so that's kind of awesome. So, we're gonna get started on homeschool. I'm gonna go ahead and get their books out. A lot of the times we start in the living room where we can do our read alouds and Bible and just be cozy and comfy on the couch. So, we're gonna get started and I will see you guys in a few. So I decided uh, over the weekend, yes, this is Monday. I decided over the weekend that we were going to do the April scripture challenge. Started by, I think it's Allie Stuckley um, on Instagram and it's Romans 8. So if you guys wanna hop on board, it's never too late. You'll just, have, you'll just be a little behind on the memory challenge. But something that I found really helps us memorize things is if we do it with hand motions and in a rhythmic um like i don't know there's probably a term for this but like oh you say it with a lot of emotion and uh anyway i thought i would share with you guys the first few verses that we are doing and what we've put together to kind of help us memorize it helps you memorize scripture so much faster so let me set you guys over here and then I'll kind of show you what, Hi. what we're doing. Hey, watch out. Let's show them. Good. Here, step back. Ooh, step back here, and then we'll show them the hand motions. Ready? All right, ready? And I do it on my... You're going to say it. Ready? Yeah. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law... What is it? For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. <laughs> so anyway, just as a little something, if you guys want to try that, it does help you memorize. So anyway, we're moving on. Moving on to our basket. Here's our basket. And we will... Oh, let me show you this too. This is the scripture challenge. Um, and it's broken down by day and what verse you memorize throughout the whole month. Gives you something to really focus on this month during this really stressful time. And so I highly encourage you guys to, if you're not in the scriptures, to get in there and just saturate your mind and your life with scripture right now because um, it will take the focus off of what it does not need to be on and put it where it needs to be. So I like to write my scriptures down and then we repeat it over and over and over. Guys, do we repeat it a lot? Like, oh. We repeat it so much that you have to memorize it, right? Yeah. 
Look, um, my dolly, she, this was her skirt, but now uh, I'm pretending it, it's a dress and I broke my um, leg. Okay. That doesn't have anything to do with school right now, but <laughs> but thanks for sharing that tidbit of information. Okay, so moving on. We are still reading 20 and 10. We have not read that in a while. And we are doing our hymn today. So let's get started. Hello, friends. We finished our homeschooling. I got the baby down for a nap. I think I told you guys that. But he only slept for a little bit. And this is what, uh, this is what we got. What's wrong? Talk to me, honey. Hang on just a minute. Anyway, it has been, let me set you guys up here. Uh, it's been a toddler crying day. We have those a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> so, just trying to make the best of it. I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make a cobbler, probably some cookies. Um, dinner tonight is gonna be easy peasy. It's going to be like a cheesy um, noodle casserole that you make with ground beef. Um, it's just gonna be super simple. So something really easy. We're gonna have some dessert and hopefully this thing can turn his little mood around because <laughs> it's been rough been rough has it been rough so I'm currently brewing myself another cup of coffee because um, it's four o'clock and mama needs a little bit to get her through the rest of the day I laid down in the bed with him for like an hour trying to get him to go back to sleep once he woke up he's in this really weird funk where he wakes up like 30 minutes or 45 minutes into his nap so sometimes if I lay down with him I can get him to go back to sleep Today was not the case. We laid there for an hour. He never went back to sleep. And so we have a cranky two year old. But um, when that happens, sometimes I'll put a movie on for him and then that helps. But something is going on with our TV. Direct TV is not working and the remote for the Roku isn't working. So I have no idea what's happening. You wanna go try to watch Frozen or something? <laughs> yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. No whining. No. You want the remote? Can you tell him bye bye? You're so tired. Are you so tired? <laughs> Say bye bye. Say I'm so sleepy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. We'll see you in a minute. All right. I'll be back. All right. Let's make some coffee. There we go. This is my creamer, whipped buttercream. And I've got some strawberries over here and they're thawing with some sugar. We are going to, uh, once these thaw, I'm gonna slice them up a little bit. I'm gonna make a double batch um, strawberry cobbler. I'm browning up some ground beef. This'll be for our little casserole that we make tonight. And so hopefully, it's 4.44. Hopefully I can get this done pretty quickly and we can start our dinner. Alright y'all, we are eating. I got busy cooking and I didn't show you guys but we're having this cheeseburger pasta. I also made some chocolate oatmeal cookies and I also have a cobbler, strawberry cobbler that I just put in there. Don't ask me why I'm making all this food but I'm just making it because I kind of start craving this food and Anyway, I like to cook, so we've got all that going today. I'm gonna sit down and eat, and then we're gonna clean the kitchen, and hopefully I'll get some laundry done tonight. Thank you. Yeah. Is it yummy? Are you eating? Yeah. You're not eating, no. Very nice. Look, I cheers to my own cup. good? Cheers to my own cup. Cheers. Good, all right, now I get to try it. All right, so we're gonna eat some cobbler. Yum, yum, yum. How does this look? Let's so see. yummy. Oh, yummy. It's about bedtime, huh? We went on a little walk. <laughs> I can't pick up my remote. Why? My hand's asleep. Oh, your hand went yeah. to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Are you having a bedtime snack of cheese? <laughs> you have a boo-boo? Yes. Yeah. Oh, 
All right, here's our cobbler. It's actually really, really good, you guys. Oh my goodness. I've tried it, huh? Yes, it's so good. Okay, let me get a little spatula. I'm gonna try it. Mm -hmm. I want Mommy, I want one. Don't get me some. I hate so bad. Come here. Come here. Come here. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Awesome. Yeah, he's like a hair. Like what? From the middle or from here? Side. Yeah, it's like Me too. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, uh. Do my hit. Ba, ba, ba. I'm out. You want some, boom?